I'm going to post these on YouTube later. And that reduce the exposure time. That's about a third of a second. What's nice about the software, you can take all the options, gamma, contrast, black, sharpness, noise, and 3D noise. You can select them or not select them by just clicking the box, and then you can make adjustments to the ones you've selected. Uh, you also have mean stack of up to 10 or additive stack of up to 10. Right now I'm going to do a mean stack and see if that smooths it out any. Can't do problems with uh, calcium K. At least I don't think. I had the uh, H alpha on yesterday and I've posted two videos to the uh, Malincam group and to YouTube. So if you look on uh, YouTube under Malincam USA, you should see the two videos from yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. I had Rock on for the first one. We were Skyping and I was recording uh, the, the preview window of the software while right, Rock and I were tweaking. And then the second one was during a broadcast after that when uh, I recorded a video. So they're, they're both up there. And of course, now the clouds are coming. <laughs> Yesterday I left about 10.30, we went shopping, came back with about 2. It clouded up and it started pouring from 2 o'clock until I went to bed at 10. I'm going to pause it. This is USB 2. Uh, 1.45 uh, megapixel. And the uh, DS 2.3 plus is 2.3 megapixel. And then the exterminator class is about 0.4 megapixel. Uh, a lot of the features in the exterminator uh, are in this camera. It's like the uh, inverse and the uh, some of the parameters you can change with the, the capture device with the universe you can do with the software in this camera. Back to clouds. Pause the recording. Okay, I'm back on recording. And <laughs> stop the recording. I started the recording again. Yeah, I'm using about a third of a second with the uh, H-alpha. I was down to about 20 to 30 millisecond exposure, not 330 millisecond exposure. Uh, let's zoom in on this area here. Uh, I can go zoom right to 200 and then move the camera over to it. So that's a 200 times zoom, well actually two times, 200x. And I'm still averaging, I think, five images. I can go unclick that and go back to, there's the live feed, that's live single feed. And with the software, you can just click on a zoom in button, like that's 5% intervals. So right now I'm at 250. This is no stacking. I had, I'm pointing at the area of the software, if, if, uh, if you can see it right up in here. Well, the mouse is not showing, but right at the bottom of the box on the left, there is a, it says frame stack or mean, you can enable it and you can stack, there's a slider left to right, you can stack between, I'm going to change the numbers, 
if, if you can see that stack line moving, that's zero to 10. So if I had it at five and I have it clicked on mean and enable it, then you'll see the image will stop bouncing around as much. And then you'll get a average stack of five frames. It'll still move, but uh, not as much as it did before. Uh, also, you can tweak the sharpness. Right now, I have the sharpness set at 38. You could reduce the sharpness, and you can see the image got a little blurrier, or you could increase the sharpness. So I went to 78. There's max sharpness right there. And I can dis I'll disable the averaging. So that's that's 100 percent 100 sharpness, not stacking. So let me try stacking just two. I've enabled a stack of two. It's an average of three, and you can see this little slider on the, the bottom left. It shows frame mean initiated. So if I want to change it to say five, now I'm going to I'm going to average stack five, and I can just turn it off. Now it's off. So what you're seeing is maximum sharpness. No stacking. And then let me just let me zoom out. I'm at 250 right now. I'll go to say 150. There's 150 with maximum sharpness. I'm going to go back to about where I had a 38 before. Okay, this 38. One sunspot at the top left is kind of overexposed. Let me go back to 100. If there's anything near the top, let me move the mount down. See what's on the limb. Don't know which way the sun is rotating, if that's coming onto the surface or going off the surface. I'll increase the exposure a little bit. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. Two hundred and fifty zone. And then let me see if I can average five. It's a pretty versatile little camera. I haven't played with the histogram. You can call up histogram. You can see the histogram is pretty flat with calcium K. I could uh, try to raise the black point a little. Now I'm just going to go to default. Yeah. And it shows we're zoomed in. And we didn't capture any images, but you can automate a sequence of captures. Go back to shorter exposure.
Okay, it's, it's, it's got a lot of functions. Uh, the other 825 camera on the market doesn't have adjustable gain. Uh, whereas this has uh, a gain that can be adjusted from 2x, 2 times gain, all the way to 100x. So we'll, we'll have to see how well it does on deep sky. I've been doing solar almost every morning because that's when it's clear here in southeast Louisiana, but then as the atmosphere heats up by the evening, it's cloudy and generally raining. I'm going to move the disk back on. I got another dust bunny. I cleaned the sensor twice already today. Luckily, the camera has an optical window. Uh oh. I think it just froze. Yep, it did. It just froze, Simon. I'm back broadcasting. I, I noticed I was moving the scope and it was not moving. So let me go back to the resolution setting. I think I was using HD mode. High dynamic. Twenty four frames a second. Okay. Hopefully we're back up and running. Hello to whoever just joined in. I just had a restart because I I've been pushing the broadcast level. I have good internet, but I was <laughs> pushing. I was trying to see if I could see anything coming on to the disk. On this side. No, don't see anything coming that way. We zoomed in on that sun's by the big one before. Let's go to the one at the top. Okay. Pop into two hundred zoom. Okay. I'll disable the average stacking. That's a live single frame. Let's see if I can tweak focus and I don't know if it's going to get any better. Hi, Ken. It's Jack here. Alan Cam Jack. I need to put that up top. Oh, and you came in just in time for another cloud.